In this video, you'll learn how to combine basic shapes to build more complex illustrations. I'll cover the Shape Builder tool and Pathfinder panel in this video. The first way to build with shapes is with the Shape Builder tool. So let's transform these circles and rectangle into a cloud. So first I'm going to click and drag over them to select them all. And then I'm going to grab the Shape Builder tool, which the keyboard shortcut is Shift M. So what I want to do is click and drag over all of these top shapes in order to merge them. And then I want to subtract all of these bottom shapes. So to do that, I'm going to hold down Option and notice the little minus icon next to the cursor. And then I'm going to click and drag to subtract all of these shapes, as well as these two. And there's one little extra shape here, which I can zoom in and then hit delete. Another way to build with shapes is with the Pathfinder panel. So the first option here is to unite shapes. So if you click and drag to select these first two shapes and then click the unite button, it merges them together. Let's select the second set. And for this one, it's going to subtract the front shape. Next is intersect. And this is going to leave only the parts of the shapes that overlap. Next is exclude. So it's going to exclude the parts of the shape that overlap. I'm going to undo all of that. I'm going to reapply the Pathfinder shape modes, but this time holding down Option. So I'm going to click Unite holding down the Option key. And this is going to do the same thing, but it's creating a compound shape. So you can see that both of those shapes are there. And if I double click to get into isolation mode, this means that it's still editable. So I can move the shapes around or maybe scale one of them and everything is still going to be united, but it's a compound shape, so it's non-destructive. You'll learn more about compound shapes in another video. So let's do the same thing with minus front. Hold down option, minus front, and then you can see that that minus shape is still actually there, so I could double click to go into isolation mode and move it around or adjust it in any other way. Same thing for intersect. and same thing for exclude. So this is a great way to work with the Pathfinder tool, but in a non-destructive way. And what I mean by destructive is if I undo this, so we're back to normal, and let me show you what I mean by destructive. So if I were to select these and then choose exclude, but not holding down option, if I double click into this, you can see that it's made two new shapes. It hasn't retained the original squares that I had. That's what I mean by destructive. Moving on to the bottom row of the Pathfinder panel, I'm going to click and drag to select these shapes and let's divide them. It doesn't look like that's done anything, but if you double click to enter into isolation mode, or if you ungroup, you can pull the shapes apart and see that that's divided them up into different shapes everywhere where they were overlapping. The next option is trim. And again, it doesn't look like it's done anything, but if you ungroup them or enter isolation mode and pull the shapes apart, you can see that it's trimmed the back layer with the front layer. The next option is merge. What this does is combine shapes that are the same color and then trim shapes that are different colors. Next is crop. And this is going to crop the back layer with the front layer. Next is outline. And this turns your shapes into outlines. So let's go into the stroke and turn up the stroke. And if we ungroup this, you can see that each different piece that was overlapping is its own outline now. And last is minus back, which is pretty straightforward. Now that you know how to build with shapes, you can illustrate anything that you can imagine. <laughs>